I've known Christy for a while. We were uh, we grew up together. We were little uh, childhood buddies, and uh, we actually had um, uh, our families grew up together. I was eight, she was six, and uh, uh, so we've known each other a long time. Um, the we knew each other. I guess we were real solid friends all the way up until about twelve. And then I went off to uh, be an apprentice, and then I was gone for 10 years with Search and Rescue and the, the military and stuff. So for me, we didn't see each other for about 10 years. When I knew Samuel as a child, I had kind of a love-hate relationship with him because we were young, and he was a boy, and he would tease me, but I'd have a crush on him, but then he would tease me, and then I would hate him. But it would change every five minutes. Like, I remember one time we were walking back. My house is next to a creek. And we were walking back from the creek to the house, and he was walking in front of me, and I was thinking, oh, he's so cute, I have such a crush on him. And by the time he entered my house first, and then he locked the door on me so I couldn't get in, and I was so mad at him for not letting me in. So that was us then. Now it's the same. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, my first impression of him when we met two years ago in the mall was I had seen him a couple times you know, throughout the years, and he was always wearing suits and always very solemn looking, and I met him in the mall, and he had crazy highlighted hair, bright orange shirt on, goatee, and was just super hyper and jumping around, and I was just like, wow, who are you? <laughs> so I was shocked. Our first date was actually um, after about two weeks of talking on the phone every night, and I invited her over to watch movies and, uh, and get an oil massage, so... I know we went out, we did a lot of playing tennis and just kind of doing regular fun things. The most memorable first date we had, he took me to Macaroni Grill and this was after we'd been kind of hanging out a while together and I just remember we were, we were sitting on the table together and just staring in each other's eyes and I remember sitting there thinking, how cheesy do we look to the rest of the world? But I loved it and I was so happy to be with him that I didn't care. There's so many things about Christy that just well for me just to make me just stop and just in awe I mean there's so many things about her that she's she's friendly and she might not be as outgoing as me but she's just as sincere and, um, she's very sophisticated she's got that little zinga class to her and um, the uh, I know when I tell my friends about Christy you know I tell about someone that I can do anything with you know if I want to go jump off a building or if I want to go skydiving we used to and or if I wanted to have a really romantic night or just have you know, a passionate date or anything, you know, for just sit down and watch cartoons. Chrissy's Chrissy's compatible. I mean she's just she just she's perfect. I remember playing hide and go seek with him and my brother and trying to get my brother to go hide somewhere else, anywhere else, so that we could do a little truth or dare on our own. He remembers kissing behind a Christmas tree at my house. So, which came first, who knows? Which, if there was more, probably. Yeah. But uh, our first kiss, after, you know, in the past two years, I think, was at his apartment. And he had, he had tricked me to coming over and bribed me with a massage. And that's my favorite thing in the whole world. So I had to give him a kiss. No. <laughs> yeah, we, we kissed him. So I've always had a crush on him in the back of my head. And so I always wanted to know what he was up to. I always liked his height and you know just general things like that. But oh, my first attraction went to him would have to have been his looks because you know it's the first attraction. We just got back from a trip. And it was our engagement trip, and um, we went to Florida. We went to the beach. I rented a car, and and uh, we went out to the beach. And it was just it was awesome. Um, but. Uh, it was just being able to run across the beach, you know, and just be ourselves, go to theme parks. I've, I've become a different person, probably most people would say. I've become a lot more open, a lot more trusting. Um, he's just really, he's made me feel a lot better about myself. He's been such a support in my life over and over again and just showed me how, I mean, he's, he's opening up doors for me. We, we have such a bright future. Planned. We're gonna say, you know, do sailboating, be active, travel, um, but I think just just our relationship itself has been the biggest the biggest change for me. Just having someone I can be 100% honest with, 100% open, and know that 
he'll listen, and he'll accept it no matter how crazy whatever I am is saying. So. I can't wait to see what she looks like, you know, when she's coming down, she's going to be coming down the stairwell and I get to see her coming up and falling down and just, yeah, it's like everything I've hoped for, you know, all my fantasies, everything I've needed and wanted and desired, it's just all there coming right towards me and wants me. And um, I think the, the m number one thing on my mind on the wedding day would be just gratitude and just uh, appreciation for like why, why did she pick me? I think that I'm going to be really excited and I'm going to be thinking, oh my god, I can't believe this is finally here. You wait all your life for this day and it's really here. And then when I get past that, I'm going to think, oh my gosh, I'm marrying Samuel. I wanted the proposal to Christy to be really special. And I didn't want just the normal thing of take Christy out to eat or take her out to eat and just, you know, going down on my knees. So um, I did a little bit of planning, you know, working out with our vacations and stuff like that. But um, I flew her down to Orlando. Now, I've never been to Walt Disney World. Uh, apparently she's been down there when she was a kid. But um, either way, you know, they have the whole Magic Kingdom and, and the, the fireworks. It's supposed to be so romantic. And um, so I wanted that experience. And uh, so I, I flew her down to Orlando. And then, um, you know, we got a hotel, and I rented a car, so we got to the beach as well, and that was really fun. And so we had a lot of, a lot of, you know, adventures during the same time. But um, for the proposal, it was actually the morning before we went to the theme park. I had uh, brought in a lot of uh, cherries and strawberries and some whipped cream, and and uh, brought in some. Uh, she likes wine, so I got some white Zinfandel. Um, it's like strawberry white Zinfandel. And um, then uh, I woke her up to a a nice oil massage and then had all this stuff out there for her with some roses everywhere and and she, she just thought it was a nice gesture you know, she's used to things like that she's used to flowers she's used to gifts and uh, and then when I got down and <laughs> I started to cry and <laughs> I did not expect to cry but I um, I started to tear up I started to cry and and I just told her how much she meant to me and and um, how she would complete my life if she would forever walk with me, grow old with me. And uh, she also cried and uh, she took my ring and, and uh, she said she would. And he came into my room and he brought a dozen roses, he brought my favorite wine, he brought champ um, strawberries and cherries and the best whipped cream ever. And by the way, cherries and whipped cream, very, very good. <laughs> And he, he woke me up slowly with a massage, which is how he got me in the first place, with the massages. And um, he just, you know, he started feeding me breakfast, and then he just, he got on his knees and told me how much he loved me and asked me to marry him for the rest of my life. And I said yes. <laughs>